82nd round of Bernard Hopkins' career, 201st of William Joppies. They've never met until now. It was possible in that middleweight unification tournament. Joppy lost to Trinidad and Hopkins beat Keith Holmes, the wily southpaw from Washington, D.C. And when they met in the final, Bernard Hopkins had the night of his life. And Trinidad's been back in the ring before the fight, of course. I wonder if they're trying to build something back up here. Should Hopkins come through? <laughs> Trinidad says he's retired. Bernard Hopkins certainly isn't with a right hand over the top. Starting to increase the volume, as so often he does. What we're watching, Nicky, is world-class here. So many domestic fights for the year, but there's shifts in the plot, there's little yeah. nudges and winks and moves. He does nothing wrong, does he? Everything he does is correct and with, with a meaning. His balance is perfect, he never seems to lose his balance. Even in the infighting here, everything is thought about. First world middleweight champion from Philadelphia, probably the best fighter since Joe Frazier to come out of the city with the Liberty Bell. Joppy trying to back Hopkins up. Good right hand got through. Again, they come together. It's getting a little bit sloppy, but I can't see so far Hopkins anywhere close to stopping Joppy. In for the range, William Joppy. But again, every time Hopkins lands, they seem to have that slight more effect on Joppy. It's just shorter, classier work too. Joppy trying the long one twos left right, but the more telling shots being done by Hopkins for me. Joppy first won his world title out in Japan. As we uh, close on the fifth round here, Joppy putting the pressure on Hopkins. Starting to uh, get a bit of confidence going. Yeah, Joppy, you know, for somebody so confident and sworn on to wanting to stop his man, he's going backwards here, Joppy getting back into the fight a bit. Hopkins just retreating for the first time there. That's a round for William Joppy. That'll give him a great deal of self-belief. Yeah, and he needed that too, but um, for me, Hopkins still seemed to be in control, he wasn't working so hard, but he was in control. Stay careful though, champ, I want you to stay careful, because he's dirty. He's dirty. And the two men in the back of the house, I don't know what that to do with him. If you tell me he's hitting behind the back of his head, he's going to go into it now. Open up one more time. Adrian Davis, the wise old man in the corner there, the hands of the cup man, yeah. Cassius Green. Now try to get that right He'll be in his ear all night, night too. <laughs> yeah, huh? Well, there's no Everything emotion needs, there at all. There's so... I suppose confident. He looks downbeat as uh, Hopkins, but he's just so confident in what, what he's doing. He's got his plan. He thought he'd take a break there, and... Um, and I'm sure you'll see him come back out and try and get on top in this uh, sixth round. First fight for 14 months for William Joppy, who went out to Tokyo and stopped now Toka Hazumi in 10. John Coyle, our referee, did that one and said it was uh, an excellent performance by William Joppy. Five years younger. Remember then, Hopkins, will that come into play? Well, we'll see. Hopkins had a quiet fifth round, but I think he chose to have a quiet round. I got you. I mean, at some point, the wheels have to come off Bernard Hopkins. He can't do this forever. Good right hand on the top, and Joppy. Oh, body shots. Look at the speed and variety. Keep your hands free. Keep your hands free. The crisp punching. Come on, bro. 
from the executioner. Trying to break him up on the inside. Shots, yeah. okay, come on, William. Just turns the screws every so often, Hopkins. He knows when to apply the pressure and when to take a break. I don't see him stopping Joppy tonight though. You know, these are the two best middleweights in the world. Both technically very, very good. Yeah, few stoppages at the very top level. Joppy blames the Trinidad loss on the fact that uh, he says the Puerto Rican had illegally wrapped hands. He also said he got caught up in the hype and went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, something he won't do with Hopkins. I don't believe all that illegally wrapped hands uh, stuff. Unless you've got a, a bit of metal in your gloves, I don't think any bandage can add that much power to a punch. Maybe protect the hands, but uh, not add to the power of the punch. What was so impressive was the way that Bernard Hopkins outboxed the boxer in Felix Trinidad as he backs Jock be out here with this strength and look at that uppercut. This is classy work inside from Hopkins. Really good stuff. At the moment, a bit too much of everything. Now gunning William Joppy. Back on top in the sixth round. Oh, just a languid look there from William Joppy. This in fighting doesn't suit him at all. And Hopkins grows in stature. Oh, he's one very, very hard man, Bernard Hopkins. A brilliant finish to that round from Hopkins. And there for the first time I saw him getting on top, really getting on top. And Joppy just looked a little baby, bit tired. Quick, don't worry about the power. Here we see the infighting. Short uppercuts from the Hopkins, way. hooks around the head, works the body well too. He does everything inside so well. That was early on in the round, but at the end of the round he started to get to Joppy. His defense is good, everything's good inside. Bernard Hopkins, who is controlling this for you, Nicky, and for everyone else. Uh, four rounds up for me is, uh, is Hopkins. Right. Only the fifth round went, went against him. First won the IBF middleweight title with a seventh round stoppage against Secundo Mercado. And as we enter the second half of this, his reign of eight and a half years doesn't look like it's going to be broken. William Joppy has a great deal of work to do in the uh, black trunks, the black boots, out of the blue corner, and Maryland. Those body shots and that jab, every punch from Hopkins looks to have impact. Well, Joppy needs to keep this long and he's not doing that. This suits Hopkins in close. Yes, to give Joppy a chance, you'd have thought he'd have to box on the outside and beat Hopkins to the punch. Exactly, and he's not doing it. That's what he said he would do, but he's a tiredness now. Now Hopkins looks to be getting to Joppy. Now for the first time I'm seeing a, a bit of um, panic in Joppy's face and work. Using the experience to rest on Joppy there. Show him his physical strength that he's needed to get through the challenges of John David Jackson, Glenn Coffey Johnson, Simon Brown, Robbie Allen, Antoine Eccles. It's a great list of decent fighters, and Hopkins has beaten them all. And he's stepping the pace up. Cassius Green animated in Joppy's corner, leading with their charge to get his feet around Hopkins, light on his toes, 
but he's already looking heavy legged yes he is he's not uh, moving away now every time Hopkins comes through he just grabs on the smart money said a middle to late round stoppage for Bernard Hopkins and a body shot digs in under the right elbow of William Joppy who fires back with an uppercut but it has no effect at all on Hopkins that's good look how fast those combinations are inside he's second best inside job he needs to move out Floyd Mayweather Roy Jones until recently Marco Antonio Barrera all vying for the best pound for pound fighter in the world this is definitely one of the top three yeah I still think Jones is he's up there as the best but Hopkins is uh, very close Choppy being smothered again Hopkins targets the body another round sits down breathing a little more heavily but um, very comfortable Well, what can William Joppy do? Is there anything, or does he just not have the tools to deal with a Hopkins on this sort of no, form? No, he's not got the tools. The only way he can win this is to get lucky with a punch, I think. And uh, suddenly Hopkins maybe grow old overnight. But uh, I don't see him having the tools to do this job. Hopkins is looking superior in every department. Everything we need is right there. There's more of a deflated look about William Joppy. Stop punching on the bridge. Nothing really has gone right for him. He must be a mile behind on the cards already. He has stopped 25 in his career. He doesn't have that one-punch power to really change a contest. And Hopkins has always had a rock-solid chin. I think that's the point, he doesn't have the power to sit to, to worry Hopkins, he can worry most middleweights in the world, but not Hopkins. Oh, good right hand from uh, Bernard Hopkins. He's got guts and heart, William Joppy. Come back from that Trinidad loss. But uh, Hopkins is artillery. Blimey, it is pretty outstanding. How do you think Hopkins would fare against the likes of De La Hoya, Mosley and Calzaghi, who you believe beats him? Yeah, I think with Mosley and De La Hoya, he beats them. But I don't think uh, he beats Calzaghi. Calzaghi is a very big man, super middle -wise. Hopkins, De La Hoya. What a fight. If De La Hoya is strong and middleweight. Yeah, Hop Hopkins beats De La Hoya, no problem. Right hand from the side of Joppy's head. All disorganized, can't get out of the way of Hopkins. It's becoming a real struggle for William Joppy inside there now. He's working well, he's firing back to be fair. But he's just that one half step behind Bernard Hopkins. Accuracy Hopkins gets with those body shots with the left hook. And they're all really hard, you know, he's not the biggest of punches in the world, but every shot is delivered with power. There's a sting you can hear with every punch. Good left hook. Oh, left hand from Hopkins went straight through. Yeah, and Hop jockey now. Going backwards, driving the punches home now. Bernard Hopkins, maybe he's sensing that Joppy is wilting ever so slowly, round by round, yeah. chipping away. I can see it now. Two rounds ago, no, now we can see it. And forget the smart money being on Hopkins with the inside. What for me does it is Hopkins' money says he's going to win inside. You said he would. Are you changing your mind now? I am. I, um, before the fight, I thought he'd been inside late stoppage. And in the early rounds of this fight, I thought there's no way he's going to stop Joppy. I can see it now. He believes he could do it and wear Joppy down, and I think he will. That's 
better movement from William Joppy. But there's a shudder in his body every time he gets caught with one or two of those rib punches. Walk it out, walk it out. 